your Swahili Nation family. Welcome back to another recap. I am Ongil Zalalem and today we're going to start from Chad. Chad bans young girls from leaving the country. Chad's government has banned young girls from leaving the country without parental permission in a move which has been decreed by women's right groups who have called for a U-turn. Security Minister General Idris Dokoni explained the decision by saying that a migratory flow of young girls was leaving the country for the purpose of exploitation. The announcement prohibits airlines and transportation agencies from taking young girls on board. Well, this is a tough one when they're saying young girls, is it under the age of 18? If so, don't you need like to make sure that the parent is on board before you allow? the young girl or young boy to go anywhere my thing is why are they just focusing on young girls i get that they get exploited but like it should be all young girls all young boys and you know if you don't have a guardian if you don't have permission of course you shouldn't be allowed and i also i think i get the activists when they're saying you know it's 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 discriminatory because maybe they didn't include the boys in there but hopefully this is for girls that are underage um, but if it's above age, it kind of, you know, takes away your right to decide for yourself. Like as a 20 plus year old girl, you're supposed to still have a permission from your parents. Yeah, I don't know about that. Facebook slammed for gagging Kenya whistleblower. Dozens of rights groups and campaigners have signed a letter calling on Facebook to drop all attempts to silence whistleblower Daniel Mutang. They accuse the tech giant of trying to crush his efforts to improve labor conditions. Mr. Daniel says he was paid about $2.20 per hour. In response, both Sama and Facebook applied for a gag order on Mr. Motang, saying that he could prejudice the outcome of the case by talking to the media. Instead of silencing people, Facebook needs to start treating their employees the right way. Then maybe they won't sue them. They don't have to worry about what the employees are going to say. So I think Facebook silencing this guy tells us that there's a lot more we need to know about and this guy is going to expose them. Uganda rejects compulsory adult vaccines. A proposed new law to make vaccines compulsory for all adults in the event of a mass disease outbreak has been rejected by Uganda's parliament. The health ministry said the bill was designed to tackle emerging health threats like fevers and wanted any rule breakers to be fined up to $1,000 or face a six-month jail sentence. But MPs raised concerns about the rights of individuals to choose and questioned who would take liability for vaccine side effects. I mean, I get it. Um, I don't agree with forcing people into taking something that they don't want to. And first, when Uganda came up with this law, it was like shocking to me. But um, now I guess they're changing it because they realize that that's not the way to go. Activists are angry over Ivory Coast polygamy proposal. Women's rights activists in Ivory Coast have expressed anger over a proposed bill that would legalize polygamy for men, calling it a step backwards in the fight for equality. Polygamy was outlawed in Ivory Coast in 1964. It's prohibited in many parts of the world but remains widespread in West African countries. Polygamy is legal in many countries and it's illegal in many more and also it's accepted in some religions and it's a taboo in, in other religions so i understand why there's a back and forth and there's a debate um, when it comes to polygamy but now ivory coast um, activists are actually really angry because they believe this is moving backwards instead of forward because they've already outloaded it. um, it's it was illegal but now they're thinking about bringing it back so the women activists are not very happy about it but people that practice this polygamy their argument is nobody's forcing the women to marry um, the man like as a second wife third wife like she knows that she's gonna be a second a third a fourth wife so if nobody's forcing her why are we being told that we're discriminating against women and it's being illegal so it's not fair that's what they're saying so at the end of the day 
it depends on how you feel about the topic and the activists will continue to fight it and the MPs, I guess, are going to propose it and we'll see what the final verdict will be. Anyways, fam, thank you for watching. Let us know down below what your thoughts are about the topics we've discussed. I'll see you on the next recap. I am Ongil Zalalam. Stay blessed. Bye.